My name is Louise Giordano and I'm the owner of Scarf It Up. I am a fiber artist in knit, crochet, and felt. And I would like to talk to you today about a product that I sometimes use for felting. It's called Art Felt Paper and it's a commercial product that makes the job of creating fabric out of wool roving and silk sometimes um, without the effort of all that rolling and rolling and rolling. It eliminates the physicality of hand or wet felting. It still requires as much time designing your product or your, or your creation, uh, but it definitely takes the physical labor out of this process. Our film paper is, I have some right here. This is, I buy it by 5 by 10 feet um, because I use quite a bit of it. Um, I usually make small items such as brooches or there's a brooch that I made with art felt paper. Oops. There's another brooch that was created with art felt paper. I have two bags that were created with art felt paper. And here's another one. And as you can see, I have embellished each bag with, it look, with some yarn, ribbon. This is a, a ribbon yarn. And also some other pieces of cut up silk. You can be extremely creative with art felt paper. It's a process that I have really enjoyed using. I do regular felting. I do actually four kinds of felting. I do knitted um, and machine washed felt. I do hand or wet felting. Nuno felting, which is where silk is, emer is merged through the merino roving. And I do some needle felting as well. This has been a godsend to me. So what I'm going to do, actually I had a class the other day where I had a, a few students come and we created in the short space of about two and a half hours with a lot of talking and fun, uh, we created two pieces. I made a, we all made a cuff. Mine has not been completed but it will have a button on it, something like this and I will put a button and I have made a little hole in here so that I could put them so that's my buttonhole and the second thing we made was a piece of a square sample that we've embellished I used some different types of roving and silk locks and some cut up pieces of silk that you can see in here I also used some handmade, no, I guess it was in this, I used some handmade paper that my dog had chewed up. And so I thought, well, rather than throw it away, I'll try felting it in. And it worked. So this square sample is going to make a brooch. And it will make it, I made this, the sample, I will then scrunch up the square into some type of attractive design that, we, that I like. I will then wrap the bottom with thread or wire you could use and I might embellish the middle with some beads or some freeform crochet and finally I will cut off this bottom piece that we've below the, the wire or threaded wrap and I might use that piece in the center or I will simply cut it off and both glue and sew on a clip on the back that looks something like this. And I don't know if you can see that. It's the combination clip pin. There we go. So I'm going to propose teaching another class of this. I like to do it at my home, so I only accept a few students. And I, there are reasons why it has to be at my house. I have not yet found a place that has a clothes dryer, a sink, and a place that, on which I can boil a big pot of water. So if I were to find all of that, I might very well indeed decide to offer it somewhere else. But right now, if you are interested, please contact me. I am scarfitup at 
ec.rr.com. That's my email. My website is scarf-it-up.net. I hope to hear from you. Thank you and goodbye.